is a little bit of a reunion for me. I worked with you guys when I was working with Barbara Streisand on the 2006 tour, now it's 2013, and you're coming to Broadway. You've been here before. I've been here before. The difference between, I mean, that was before El Divo, so it was before... Yeah. It was so, literally the last opera that I did before El Divo. Okay, yeah. so t the difference of like, I mean, you haven't started yet, but just the energy of being around, back here after so many years, how's it been? Well, you know, the face of Broadway has changed dramatically and is continuing to change. The energy and the pulse has quickened, mm -hmm. and uh, there's there's just that you know they've made it a pedestrian zone now, yeah. and so even more people can flood into Times Square, and uh, it's it's kind of a madhouse. My my wife does not really enjoy large crowds per se, but I'm definitely a large crowds type of person. Yeah. I, I love the vibe of lots of energy and lots of buzz, and so you know it's great to be back. Tell me a little bit about the concert, because you're singing all Broadway tunes, of course. So tell me a little bit about the variation of songs that you're going to be singing. Well, yeah, it's very interesting because we obviously we just pick single songs from all different musicals and string them together in a show, and we want to incorporate a theatrical element that is probably the most renewing thing that we bring to El Divo yeah. on this show yeah. compared to other concerts we have done before. So it's quite a challenge to get that all together and make a silly coherent show and I'm very excited to see how the audience is going to yeah. accept it. So you're singing from yeah. West Side Story and we do Carousel, West Side Story, and Carousel, Camelot, um, Phantom of the Opera, Phantom you the said. Opera, yeah. We will rock yourself, Les Mis. Pacific, Les Mis. Les Mis. Around, yeah. And Heather Headley is your guest. Yes, she's just amazing. I mean, Phenomenal. her voice, as I, as I said, I mean, just just listening to the to the range that she has and the way she she can sing soul, or she can sing straight notes, or she can sing even even kind of a parodic voice. It's she 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 has everything. What's the thing you're most looking forward to being on Broadway? Because you're used to playing huge thousands and thousands of mm. people, and this is a small, intimate Broadway That's house. Right. What are you most looking forward to? Well, you given almost the answer by then. Um, it's to have that proximity with people, you know, we're going to not play those big uh, venues, so uh, being so close to an audience, um, forming such powerful powerful songs is quite an amazing thing. I'm, I'm a little nervous because, you know, when you play big rooms like that, you kind of have your shield and you're protected, but then that's very vulnerable. You have to, you know, you're so close to an audience. It's a different way of... Uh, what we used to, and then seeing how people are going to react, being in the same city, not having to pipe my suitcase, being able to go to a restaurant after, you yeah. know, uh, seeing the, the life out there, and hopefully if my family can come and join me, they can come and see the gig and the concert, and we can go and see some other Broadway stuff going on here. I mean, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's really exciting to just take a place somewhere and, and get grounded and occupy the space for a little while. Well, we're so excited to have you, and I'm excited to see you guys again after all these years. We'll see you on Broadway. Absolutely. Yeah. See you. And everybody Fun. come along.